Anybody could have got, it was two of them, one on each side at the entrance, and they were all solid brass. They weighed two tons. They were huge. They were so huge. they looked kind of like gargoyles. Yes. They were the lines, and they had their foot on a ball. They had their mouth open, and they had their foot on a ball, which was the globe. Mm. And they were huge. They were maybe, um, they were maybe eight feet long. They were probably that high. Wow. They weighed two tons a piece. And, and they someone never stole got them back. <laughs> they never got them back. They claimed they couldn't find out who got them. Wow. How do you steal two ton statues? So uh, it's it's kind of Widener got after that they gave the collection to Widener. Okay. Widener got some incredible art. Every chance I get, maybe we'll go over there one day. The lady who was there, uh, Becky, uh, her name was Rebecca, uh, can't think of her last name right now. She kept on, she let all of us have exhibits there. Myself, Angie Turner, Benson. She let so us Benson out. had an exhibit at Widener? Uh -huh. Oh, wow. All of us. Okay. She let us have a group exhibit for Black History Month. Oh, nice. So yeah. was that your first exhibit that you had done? Uh, I had I had exhibits at Lincoln. Okay. I've had exhibits at Villanova, University of Pennsylvania, uh, Widener, uh, well that's Widener, uh, Cheney, Lincoln, uh, Westchester, uh, Community Arts Center. So when's the last time you've been in an exhibit? Uh, the last exhibit I did was at City Hall in Chester. They had a, uh, I'm not sure it was a black history or a veteran, and I just played uh, maybe 14 pieces. So what's a good size, uh, you know, t to have, or good number to have when you're exhibiting? Should you have 20 pieces in an exhibit? When I exhibited at uh, Gettysburg College, I had 87 pieces of work. Mine and I sold five. 22. I'm talking. Can you go that way, please? Excuse me. We'll do it later. 87 pieces. How did you get them there? Uh, I have a van. Okay. And so they were all in the range of 20 by 30. They were that size. They were a little larger than that. They were that size. Okay. And I had them stacked at, uh, I had, uh, there's a place on uh, Chestnut Street, and it's a storage place. Right before you get on the uh, 95 ramp, going north, right there on that corner. Okay, in Philadelphia. It's, no, in Chester. It's a storage place, a moving company that's been there for a oh, long time. Oh, yes, yes, time. the U-Haul um, storage place. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And so they had a uh, they had a box that for twenty dollars this box was real thick corrugated. Um, the box was big enough to put pictures that size in there. Okay. So I could put like a, I could put maybe maybe twenty in a box, twenty five or thirty in a box. So I had two boxes and I put them all around. But um, it snowed that weekend, 
and we drove to go to Gettysburg. You have to drive up to Harrisburg and down 15 South, or either go down 95 to Baltimore and up. Okay, yeah, I'm familiar with that. I'm from yeah. Michigan, so we go, when we leave here in Delaware, we go down through Breezewood, Maryland, mm -hmm. and come around mm -hmm. if you don't want to go through the mountains. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. And <laughs> the lady who got me to exhibit was, uh, uh, her last, she had married a police officer. His last name was Shafinsky. Her first name was Cheryl, and she was the co-host of Gettysburg College. Okay. And she was in media that weekend of the media art show and saw my work. Oh, and they And gave me an exhibit from site on. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. And she set it up while, when I went there, I had a place to stay every day. She provided for me and Mary, and Mary said, ain't no woman you don't know doing all this <laughs> for you. And I was shocked, but she had this, she said to me, she says, bring your wife. <laughs> That's how we got to go there, because she refused to believe a stranger would do that. Mm. Sometimes we don't know. We don't. And we have to stop jumping to conclusions when it's totally unnecessary. They became friends. Oh, nice. <laughs> they became good friends, and we we stayed connect, connected. I, her husband, he was diabetic, mm. and uh, his family migrated from Russia, and he said, man, he said, for my home, humble, Beginning, I married a beautiful black woman, and she was. Aww. And it was like, one time she said, my father is probably turned over in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> she said, my father is probably turned over in his grave. Here I'm married to this white guy. He was, um, he was a police, but he was like a kind of a nobody. Mm. But he had been uh, given a different, like one time he had to guard. He was in a photograph with, I think, Reagan or somebody. Oh, and wow. he got a copy of it. And so he had to show everybody. <laughs> you know, he had an assignment in Washington as a, a police officer. He was a guard at a prison in Baltimore. And wow. for him to wind up with a, a beautiful black. black woman. And uh, he, it, it, it was a big deal for him. Right. It really was. Wow. So, but she was, she had a master's degree. She had a doctorate. She was just so educated. Of high esteem. Yes. Yeah. But she had divorced, and at the time, he really pursued her. Mm -hmm. And so that made a difference. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But I've had some wonderful stories that people just saw my work and gave me accolades, gave me exhibit. Have you ever heard of Janetta Cole? No. She worked at the Clark in Atlanta. Okay, Clark, Atlanta. And she was the president of Bennett when my daughter went to Bennett. Okay. And at the time, she was the keynote speaker at the Professional Black Women, Black Women Professional Group. I might not be saying it correctly. Mm -hmm. But after she did her awesome speech, she's a tremendous speaker. And she walked off the stage, across 
to our table and said to my daughter, you've been at Bell Material. Gave my daughter a scholarship to go to Bennett. That's amazing. That's how my daughter got to Bennett. She had never heard of Bennett. Right. Didn't know it was all girls. It was only 900 students on the whole campus. That's wonderful. But they yeah. were academically on the level of Princeton, Stanford, and mm -hmm. all of the Ivy League schools. Their curriculum was on that level. So anybody went to Bennett, you'll hear them. They got a great education if you went to Bennett. Wow. Wow. Well, as soon as your husband get me out of here, I'm going to work tomorrow and pick up 